Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. Several viewers have asked me a question. Matt, how do you handle recoil, as in muzzle flip, on a handgun? How do you handle that? You know what? That's an outstanding question, so let's talk about it. First and foremost, it boils down to basic physics, like Newton's Law. Newton's Law says for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, right? So in a perfect world, when you fire, this gun, the reaction should go straight back. But wherever there is a weakness, it's going to take what? The course of least resistance. So in this example, if I'm firing left-handed, what do I have here? Here I have support, here I don't have any. If I fire, what's going to happen is the gun is going to recoil up and to the right because there's no support. Inversely, if I'm a right-handed shooter, it's coming up and to the left. Now this is exaggerated, but if you go to the range and you fire single-handed, you're going to see this occur. The other thing happens to do with the bore axis. You know, the barrel of the gun sits right in here. So with physics, if we have a grip like this, what's going to happen when this thing goes bang? It's going to act like a lever and do that. Now, just to give you a basic example, I can take my finger and just go ahead and I can try to hold this hard, but I'm still getting muzzle flip. And I can really get it like that. Now, if I get a proper grip, high tang, up like this, what happens? Guess I have to use more hand. So at this point, you're basically seeing my arm bounce and not my wrist. Wrist is also key to this because you want to make sure that you lock up your wrists and you keep them tight. Do some exercises with weights. It works out. And if you don't have weights at home, surely you have something like this, like a hammer. And you can take a hammer, extend it out like so, and just simply lock your wrist and then, you know, do one of these. And with that weight out there, you would actually be very surprised at how easily fatigued and how quick of a burn you're going to develop in here. But like anything, do it in moderation only. So when it comes to recoil control, grip is essential. We want to get it up high on the tang as high as, as we can to avoid what we call slide bite. And then also, we want to pull this other hand into play. I always will index right here, and I do thumbs forward like so. So the grip fills in like this, and if you see the difference here between my finger and my thumb, they're pretty equal, so equal, equal balance. And then when we come to punch out like so, I am not going to hyperextend my shoulders out of the socket. So let me move up here. I want to have the firearm up like this. I've got a good 100% grip on here, and I've brought it basically up to my eyes. Now if I hyperextend and I go like this, and I'm basically pulling everything out of the socket, see what happens? I get a little bit of shake because there's tension there. So if you feel muscle tension, back off. But in order to avoid shoulder in uh, injury, I go ahead, make sure everything is relaxed, come up like so, and all is good. So you have that nice firm grip, then you're going to be able to control that recoil much better. But a lot of it is in that wrist. Make sure that you lock up that wrist so you can go ahead and literally do that. On the range, a lot of times what I've used as a prop has been a water bottle. You know, tapping with a water bottle just to demonstrate to people that lock the wrist. Don't leave the wrist like this. Lock it up. And that's where just a little bit of weight training can actually help you but get that good firm grip, make sure that you rotate it like this, thumbs forward on a semi-auto, you're filling in the gap 
like so, and you're just simply coming up, but you're relaxed. Make sure that, you know, that you're relaxed. If you're feeling tension uh, in those arms, then you're not relaxed and you're going to induce shake. But a good firm grip means that when this thing goes bang, it is going to basically kind of come back like that. Of course, you will get a little bit of muzzle rise, but there's not much that you can really do about it. Just keep your eyes on that front sight. And you know that you get it when you watch that front sight all the way through that firing sequence. Gun goes bang, you'll see the front sight come up a little bit, and then you'll see it come right back down to where you've got great sight picture. That is indeed the Zen moment. So this works for men as well as ladies, and all you have to do, a little bit of strength training, a little bit of practice, practice the grip, go to a firearms instructor, have them check it out for you, and you know, when in doubt, ask questions. But anyway, outstanding question, keep them coming. And hey, everybody, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, everybody be safe out there and have a good one.